Yes, sir. Your boy Cal Beasy, Talker, Take a Fade, world's number one podcast, should I say. You know what I mean? 420, what's it? 421. You know what I mean? We still smoking, we still celebrating. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all 420. You know what I mean? We had a good day. LA was lit, and you know, they smoked out the whole city. We was lit, we had a good time. Man, it's been an interesting week this week, I must say. How's it for you, uh, Paul P? Man, everything good, big homie. You know, it's always good to, you know, be. I love sitting here, man, and, you know, talking, take a fade, man, with the big homie and just chopping it up. You know what I'm saying? Addressing stuff is needed, but motivating people, inspiring people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I'm excited, man. I thought yeah. we got a good one today. I'm excited. Yeah, you know? well, I look forward to it because I know uh, I, I've been, uh, it's been an interesting week in social media. And yeah. You see, I brought my chessboard. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. see you checking it out. You, you, man. Do, do you get down? I'm, I'm with it. I'm with you it. You play. I'm with, I, I mean, I haven't played in a minute. You know, I'm all about the chessboard methods and everything like that, you know, but I could play, though. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay, okay. But okay, oh, uh, let the people know, you know, why you brought it and laid it out and everything like that you know what's the chess board method you got well, going on today what do you feel is the most powerful piece on the board everybody has their different say so on this game right here like they say what what they feel is the most powerful or what do you feel is the most powerful on the board i'm gonna always say the king there you go that's always. the only piece on the board that never leaves the board yeah yeah you feel me when it comes down to it, everything is here to protect that king uh -huh. everything is here to protect it yeah. some people say it's a fake game they say it's not a game of life you know what i mean but if, on an if, say we all had an equal opportunity, you had a kingdom, say you had a kingdom, yeah. and I had the same opportunities, and my people did listen, yeah. but I'm still gonna smash you. I'm still gonna take over your kingdom. Yeah, yeah. You understand that? I'm still gonna figure it out to take over your kingdom. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna conquer your kingdom because we starting off equal. Yeah. Life ain't starting off equal. Nah. You know, but right now, if you start off equal though, I'ma smash you though. I'ma mm. take over your kingdom. Mm. Knock all your players down, trap your king. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's a, it's a thinking game. Yeah, yeah. It's you definitely know I mean? a thinking and, game. And, and, and it's you life. Know? You got pawns in life. You got you got you got pawns. You got you got people of importance that we put these titles on in these different ranks. Yeah, yeah. You know, these pecking orders. You know, I can't just go to the king. I can't just go talk to the king. Nah. See, nowadays now the pawns want to talk to the kings. Yeah, yeah. The pawns want to voice their opinion to the kings, Ooh. to the generals, Ooh. to the ones that's been doing it, the bishops, Ooh. feel me, the rooks, the knights, yeah. feel me, the, the, the pawns stay in your lane. The pawn can't do what the bishop do, the pawn can't do it, the pawn can't do what the queen do, the pawn can't do none of that. Facts. Stay in your lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody got a position. Real talk. You feel Real everybody talk. play their position, and if you got the right leader, the right king, and if everybody play their position and listen to what this leader is saying, uh -huh. then we can take over this. We can yeah. take over that. You go. You got the game. You but it take it take yeah. all these players to listen. It don't take this pawn and say, "Hey, king, no, nah, I don't think we should do that." Yeah. He might not see why I sacrificed that dude to do that to do that, yeah, yeah. but to snatch all that. Mm -hmm. You might not see it. I was at Venice Beach. I whooped on everybody on the beach. Mm. Whooping on them. Yeah. A little kid came, and he didn't even speak English. His mom said, can he play you? I said, does he know how to play? He said, yeah, he's been playing since he was a kid. I said, he's, like, he's still a kid. You know, he's, <laughs> you know, he might have been, I don't know, 8 to 11 years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We played, man. He was moving like this. Every time I made a move, took one time I made him think, and he paused for a second. Man, man, he destroyed me. Yeah. Mm. Destroyed me. Yeah, yeah. You know, we had equal opportunity. Yeah. 
you and feel he me? did his thing. I only made him think one time. That boy yeah. had me thinking. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man. So, yeah. Shout, play out, your position. shout out to that little dude. Man. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, 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 shout yeah, out to yeah, him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I always say as men, you know, we got to be the king on our chessboard. You know, I got that up there, big homie. Be the king on your chessboard. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. that's people dope. Say the people say the queen, yeah. the queen might have more powerful moves that it can yeah. make. facts. But if it comes down to two kings and two queens, you're going to sacrifice the queen to make sure you protect the king. Facts. And the facts. King is the only one that never leaves the board. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, so even the queens need to learn how to stay in their place. The, mm. the the bishops, the the, the rooks, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Follow the pecking order, and then. But like I said, if you got a, a appropriate king that's worth following, yeah. You feel me? You gotta have a proper leader that's worth following. You can't follow the wrong king, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. The wrong king will lead you just straight. To, it's over with. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So you yeah. gotta watch who you follow and, and whose footsteps you wanna follow. Real talk. And big homie, a lot of people out there may think, oh, you talking about a king? The king gotta be, you know, arrogant and always be the vocal one and always be the one who's telling people how to do this and what to do. People don't understand. Being a king, for the most part, you sh you gotta be humble. Yeah. You got to listen to others. Yeah. You got to put yourself last. Everybody yeah. got to be before you. Yeah. So a lot of dudes out here ain't thinking about that part of it. That's yeah. where a lot of men, I think, fail. Yeah. Understanding you got to be humble. Yeah. You got to listen to everyone around you. Because exactly. then if you don't, who going to follow you? Exactly. Nobody want to follow a jerk and somebody exactly. who just out here making moves without hearing other people's opinions and thoughts. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Then, so Then it takes more than a king to make a kingdom. Uh-huh. This is a kingdom, so the king needs that bishop. He needs that queen. He needs that rook. He needs those knights. He needs those pawns. Yeah. He can't run a king by himself. It's just a king by himself. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. me? So he still needs these people. So, like, I've been building business. I've been doing business, and I, I, I got great ideas. I'm buying restaurants. I'm buying these buildings, and I'm looking like, well, now I don't have enough manpower. Uh. You know what I mean? So we got great ideas, but do, who do we have the physically that's gonna run these uh, facilities? Yeah. You know, I thought everybody needed a job. You know, uh, apparently a lot of people are lazy nowadays. Ooh, yep. Uh -huh. You know, the new job is gimme, let me hold something. Gimme, gimme. They tell me, let me hold something. I, said, oh, I invented that slogan. That was that was our thing. We invented that. Let me yeah, hold yeah. Like, big homie, let me hold something. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? We was that generation. So yeah, yeah. now you gotta really be down to hustle. You uh -huh. know, I, I think in America, you talk about America, you talk about the government or whatever, we got an opportunity to win. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You literally do have an opportunity to win, you know, uh, uh, work on your credit, work on certain things, but uh, you have to be responsible yeah. regardless. We want these things, but the stuff that we want is a big responsibility. Yeah. You know what I mean? Every day I gotta wake up and open the doors for my businesses. So when I get ready to head out of town, I gotta make sure this is in place, that's in place, you got responsibilities. So yeah, yeah, yeah. facts, um, facts, you know? you know. And it's good that, you know, we have these type of conversations because a lot of people don't understand uh, uh how difficult it is to have a business and be an entrepreneur. A lot of people just wanna do it. Oh, I wanna be an entrepreneur. I wanna uh, own my own business, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I wanna uh, run my own shop or whatever. Uh, but they don't understand what it takes to be able to do that yeah. I tell anybody I say look it's the one of the hardest things you'll ever do in your life running a business you know yeah. being responsible for making sure a lot of other people around you is going to be able to get paid and take care of their families yeah. you know and making sure that your business is able to be uh, uh, keep running day by day yeah. you know and things like that it's yeah. a lot of responsibility so you know what I'm saying you may want it but you don't understand what it takes to have it and keep it successful. Yeah. It takes a lot, you know? So yeah. it's good that, you know, you, t you bring up these type of topics and we talk about these things because, you know, the little homies out here got to know, man, like, hey, if yeah. you get into that world, you got to be ready to put in work. Yeah. This ain't like nothing you've ever done before. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you got to be ready. So yeah. And yeah, it's the yeah. same concept. So, like, even if you're on the streets right now and you're selling drugs, whatever you're doing, it's the same concept, but it's legal. You're just doing it legal. You're doing business. You know what I mean? And I tell, I tell people that, not doing legal business is better on this side. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Get on this side, do legit business, work on your credit, get your business accounts, you do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? If you do it right. We try so hard uh, as black men coming up to find out, to figure out the, the fast way or the, the crooked way. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. we waste more time. You know, those squares that went to school and they they, they sacrificed that four years, they got where they needed to go. The, the ones I, I might have sacrificed uh, 10 to 15 years in prison trying to figure out the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if you figure it out, you can figure it out in a short 
amount of time, but yeah. the more you try to go the wrong way, it's gonna take you longer to get to that spot. Man, facts, facts, facts. Yeah. Man, all oh, from the big drop, man. Giving that game. That's right. So uh, I, I, I think that um, well, it's up to you, you know, big homie. Uh, so the people may have saw we switched out. You know, uh, the thumbnail and everything like that. You know, people may have saw the person who we had on the thumbnail. So I want to see if you want to let the people know what's going on with that. You know, give them an update on, um, you know, what they saw earlier. So they're not confused. Like, what happened? You know, I thought yeah. he was coming to the show. So yeah, you yeah. want to talk about well, that a little bit? There's a little confusion on the time schedule. Uh, yeah, so we're going to schedule that for next Friday. So I tapped in with Flacco. You know what I mean? So Flacco going to pull up on us and we're going to just chop it up. You know, uh, uh, I ran to him one day at the DMV. You know what I mean? Maybe some months ago at the DMV, I had ran into Flacco. We chopped it up okay. and uh you know through the little uh falling out he he uh he, he reached out to me and said uh you know he been t uh, checking out the podcast that we're doing great okay. you know what i mean and uh said uh if he ever need if i ever needed him that you know he'll pull up so i yeah. reached right and said, hey you want to pull up he like no problem so uh yeah. uh right now the muslims are doing their thing or whatever so it's through due to religious re religious beliefs you yeah, know what i mean yeah. so uh Oh yeah, I'm interested in that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> out of all my guys, you know, Flock always seemed like he was the underdog. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, out of yeah. all my guys, you know, that that was they always would bag on him or go to Flocko. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to talk to him yeah, and yeah. Uh, and really, you know. See what's really been going on over that way. Yeah, yeah. You know so, I mean? so just just your your thoughts, mm -hmm. big homie, and everything like that. You know, with uh, Flocko coming and everything. Um, you know, do 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 you think that maybe? Um, you know, all of the noise that was going on, you know what I'm saying, coming from their direction and us kind of responding and all of that. Do you think that, you know, Flacco kind of up to date on what's going on or, or, or what you what you think? What's your, what's your thoughts on that situation? Well, I think everybody's tuning in and uh, yeah, anybody yeah. that's in the social media, if you got a podcast or whatever, so you tapping in and you seeing what's going on. So yeah. so uh, the world is keying in and I think podcast industry is changing. You know, we tired of, of, the, uh, of the fake stuff, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. the, uh, mm -hmm. What they call it, the whack 100 stuff, the whack shit. We Man. tired of the whack stuff, you know what yeah. I mean? We tired of talking about stuff that really has no substance. I know I am, you know, I, I don't listen to it, don't want to even talk about it. So, uh, you know, uh, now that I officially do a podcast every week, so I have no no choice but to tap in and see what's going on, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, you know, you know, because, you know, I do my homework, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. And, and I look at all these people that talk and they judging other people. Everybody that has something to say about somebody, it came back on them. Mm, that's a fact. It all came back on them. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's a trip in social media, it, you know, as far as this paperwork and people telling and stuff like that. I was checking out this week. It was a lot going on. And so where is that gray area? You know, so, you know, you know, now I see certain people were preaching a certain thing. But bam, right here. Hold up. Yeah. yeah. What is this? Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Like I always say, if you see something and you do the right thing, it's called doing the right thing. Yeah. If you're going to commit a crime and you're telling on your your person and he got him in jail and he's calling collect, that's snitching for sure. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? So they need to figure that out. You know, and these these are industry people that brought that attention to themselves. Mm -hmm. You try so hard to be so hood. Oh nigga, I would never, I would never hold up. You already did. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just metaphorically speaking, you know what I mean? Ain't saying no names, you know, cause I don't want to bring down our people, but look, that's sad. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That we got to go through it and, and we got to put it on social media, you know, our problems, you know, yeah, like yeah. pull up, pull up on each other and discuss it. But like I said, uh, yeah, when when you what they say you point, you got three more fingers pointing back pointing at back you. Back so, at you. Uh, yeah, yeah. And no uh, matter what, you know, from everything I saw on Flacco so far, Flacco seemed like he pretty, you know, straight up. You know, no matter what we brought up last week about, um, you know, what was said and not done the right way on no jumper, I believe someone like Flacco it, it could understand, you know, where we was coming from. Because at the end of the day, you know, uh, nothing was started here. You know, we come in here trying to motivate and inspire, and you know what I'm saying. You know that that that's your your motive. That's my motive. That's that's what we here for. But at the end of the day, it was something that was said and done on their behalf that was sloppy as hell. You know what I'm saying, and it yeah. had to get addressed. And I yeah. think somebody like Flacco would understand that. You know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. He seemed well, like that type of cat. I respect genuine individuals. You know what I mean. You know you got individuals even like Wack One Hundred. You know 
he's being him so you gotta respect yeah. that's what he is certain people might just be an asshole certain people are a certain way yeah. I respect genuine people they just being them you know yeah. what I mean I can respect his character just being him you know what I mean yeah. that's all not trying to be something else you yeah, feel me yeah. so that's what I'm seeing now a lot of these characters in the industry they've been portraying this but actually mm -hmm. you're not that so so be what you are be an entertainer like I've been saying entertain make music you know and now yeah. everybody podcast everybody want to talk who's a bitch who's a snitch who's this who's that you know uh you know uh what about the music what about you know like I said rap about stuff that that the ones that don't have the opportunities that these celebrities got you know we were in the ghettos looking up to these celebrities yeah. so don't come down to where we at you know let us keep looking up to y'all so we want to be like y'all yeah. quit trying to be like us that's down here trying to make it yeah. these cats are already made it yeah yeah you feel me you bring somebody put somebody else on you know what i mean y'all talking about each other you spending more time because you got to put your ego down put yeah. your pride down yeah. and just know what's right is right what's wrong is wrong simple as that yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. me ain't no justification ain't no thin line ain't no straggling in the fence you know you either right or you wrong ain't no in between so yeah yeah real talk real talk man but I know it's gonna be exciting no matter what you know uh, like I said Flacco seemed like a cool dude you yeah. know uh, you know, you vouching for me coming through I think it's gonna be dope you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah. so I'm excited for that yeah, one I would imagine you know? you know we're gonna get a lot of a lot of people uh, that have been tapping want to tap in yeah. uh, uh, with us and discuss some real stuff you know yeah, uh, yeah. I got some real topics I want to discuss domestic violence. Like I said, I want to discuss mm. uh, credit. I wanted to discuss just the city in general, uh, uh, the the West Coast, the East Coast. You know, because uh, I see all these podcasts. I see everything that's going on. It's pitting us against each other. You feel me? It's pitting uh, uh, hood against hood, uh, uh, celebrity against celebrity, uh, state against state. So before it get out of hand, we gotta put a cap on it we gotta yeah, get this yeah. shit right as a people as exactly. human beings not just black as human beings you know uh, did a podcast uh, yesterday uh, with Hispanics so okay. we got the black and the brown I'm like nice. you know, I, I got the red the blue got, dope, got the orange coming in got orange pulling up you know what I mean yeah. so now we get the brown in you dope. know what I mean so we dope. pulling it together so it, the stuff that I'm trying to accomplish is, is ridiculous yeah, you know yeah, what I mean yeah. you know it, and at one time I thought I was fighting a losing battle like man this, this is like I was frustrated you know yeah, what I mean because yeah. every time I looked up something stupid happened and something stupid yeah. but like I said sometimes it take you to get out the hood a little bit and mm -hmm. start seeing the love that you really got you know what I mean so you step into a neutral ground and I can see that's when I get to see the, uh, the Hoovers the Bloods from all these different sets you know what I mean that yeah. I can get that feedback yeah, that I yeah. won't necessarily get in the 60s you know what I mean where I was you know the city yeah. where I'm at yeah. you know what I mean so been out to Vegas looking at land and just looking at the love that that in the movement and see what it stand for so yeah. uh uh, yeah, I feel good. I know I'm truly blessed, you know, and I know, uh, I know, uh, I know I got a purpose, you know, and, and it's to, it's to motivate. Like I said, we hustle and motivate. I'm going to stick with that, you know, uh -huh. I'm going to run this marathon. We're going to yeah. hustle and motivate. We're going we gonna to teach. Real talk, real talk. Yeah. And, that, and that's why I say, um, big homie, you know, the, the respect that I have for you is is out of this world, you know, and, and when it comes down to this podcast, it's almost like when we first connected, it clicked, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, like. of course, I was like, man, I gotta get Cowboy on to talk about Nip. But when we connected, I'm like, oh, nah, Cowboy's on that same shit that we on here. Yeah. Motivating, inspiring, and everything like that. You know, like you said, you was just with the Hispanics last, you know, the other day, you know, doing yeah. a podcast. You know, I had yeah. an Asian cat, Johnny Chang. We don't care what you are. If you got a, a motivational story, you know, and exactly. something to give back to inspire, you know, we'll yeah. sit down with you. Everybody's yeah. not yeah. like that. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying, that's why I fuck with you. Yeah. Because it's like, we on the same shit. Yeah. That's what we should do. Come to, When we on the same stuff, yeah. we should come together, yeah, man. Exactly. And make it bigger. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. So that's dope. That's dope, yeah. you know? So when I got here and we first did the interview, you prayed, you said, God, for First, you said something like that, and I said, "All right." That was that was my first little thumbs up. Like, all right, you know. Then as we talk, like, okay, this could be a spot that that yeah. I consider and discuss those. Not not a spot where we, you know, I ain't been here not one time where we looked on the internet looking to see what's going on. Yeah, I ain't yeah. been where we sitting there fishing and trying to, you know, how they be in the labs trying to make up fights and trying to make up different type of fake shit, and yeah, yeah. fake clicks and fake this. We we not in it for that. They they yeah. they get they get 
they get notoriety with how many numbers they do. Oh, I did this. Hey, everybody looking at numbers. You uh -huh. know what I mean? So I see some. I see the weirdest bullshit get the most numbers. Yeah. yeah. You know the weirdest. Somebody ever do something about the Bible where they get low numbers, but somebody do something that's really stupid. It's way up there in the mean. So so you think you're getting all these numbers? You going viral? That you you're really just doing something stupid. Facts. Because most of the stupid shit goes viral. Yeah. Viral. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You know. So we want yeah. some positive viral. You know, uh -huh. uh, uh, the Snoop Dogg uh, podcast, uh, the good news. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Why every time we watch the news, it's always negative, negative, negative. So why not be, let's talk about good stuff, yeah, good yeah. news, because there's a lot of good going on. Why everybody talking about so much negative? Who killed this and who killed that? Who yeah. did this and all that? He yeah, telling yeah. and that. Okay, what about, oh, oh the homegirl got a job. Okay, oh, well, yeah. She ain't sliding down the pole no more. She this. You motherfuckers motivating, getting, yeah, yeah. Like, elevating. Yeah. Talk about the elevation, like, I don't hear as many gunshots as I used to hear in the city. Man, that's that's a that's real. You know, just it's you know, different. it's different. You yeah, know, it's yeah. just just you know, you know, we hear gunshots on the regular. You know, coming up in the '90s, in the 2000s, or whatever. So the city, I think, is ready to be at a calm, to be at a, at a peace. Like I said, we did the peace treaty, which didn't last long. But if you've never witnessed it, it was just a. You know, it was just a, a, a story. Yeah, yeah. You know, I actually witnessed it and I felt it. You know what I mean? So yeah. they need to uh, actually feel togetherness. You know yeah. what I mean? They need to feel it. You know, yeah, where yeah. it's white, black, Mexican, blood, Crips, all that. Yeah, all that. Yeah, and we yeah. all having a peaceful time without no frowns on nobody's face. Everybody partying and chilling and just enjoying life. Real you know? talk, real talk. Yeah. And you know, uh, you know, Big homie, I'm kind of going to a, a little bit of a, a different direction, you know, um, you know, just so we could just get it out the way right off the back, <laughs> you know, and, and everything, you know, uh, like I say, when it come down to to here, you know, we, we don't we don't we don't bring nothing up, but we address certain things, you know, when it come down to it. So I wasn't even looking to go in to his direction this week, you know, but some actually somebody sent DM'd this particular clip that was put out a couple of days ago, not too long, a couple of days ago, you know, I'm like, yeah, I thought it was over, but no, nah, it ain't. And this was a clip um, that Cap Capone basically put out where, <sighs> Break Baby brought up your name again. I, I, I'm, I'm seeing that. I'm guessing like when it come down to me, like, hey, you know, my clips pop off when I'm talking about him. I don't know. I'm just saying, but he basically brought your name up and I wanted you to kind of just, you know, uh, uh, listen to what was said on there real quick and then, oh, you know, right. if you want to spry, you can, you know, and whatever, but, you know, like I said again, Cowboy didn't bring nothing up about anything. Somebody DM'd me this clip that was put out by Cam Capone and this was just a couple of days ago. So we just gonna uh, listen to it. We just gonna play the audio. We ain't gonna play like the, the, the full, the, like the video. We're just going to play the audio, and then, uh, you know, after that, let the, uh, you know, big homie respond, you know, and then go from there with it. So, uh, all right, let's go on. So, let's go on and uh, play the audio real quick, and then we'll go from there. And this is a clip from, um, I mean, shout out, because I do it differently. I'm going to shout out Cam Capone. This is a clip from him. And, um, yeah, we're just going to play the audio. All right? <laughs> he, he was going to handle his candle. But it's like, how you going to handle your candle when everybody is rushing to the authorities about the shit? You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to put everybody out there, but it's just like, ah, miss me with that morning shit. Like, and that's, and that's one of the reasons why me and Cowboy's relationship is what it is. You get what I'm saying? Like, you keep on trying to put the guilt off on everybody else. My nigga, you was there. You didn't throw a, a rock at that dude. You didn't even scream, hey, shoot me, none of that. You hey, you bitch ass dude, you didn't even startle him. You ain't come outside. You hit up under the cash register, up under the shit in there, like, you know what I'm saying? You were there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's speak on that. You was there on the scene. All you, all you could do is go get this nigga name and go report it to the police. You supposed to be the big homie, that lay star chucks and all this shit that you be talking on all these interviews and all that, bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, come on, cuz you 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 gave the authorities, nigga, he got 60 years. He could live for 60 more years. Why Nip gone? He could get married and still procreate. He could still have babies. He can still be a king from in there. You get what I'm saying? You you didn't you didn't shut down Cub program like you were supposed to, cause easily accessible. You get what I'm saying? Like 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 let's be real. 
you would have let him sit on the streets and he didn't have no warrant for his arrest, he would have been back around. Just like y'all did all that surfing, because y'all didn't know his, his, his name. I don't know how y'all got his name, however, but just like y'all put that energy in it, telling them, because y'all could have found the address. Nipsey is, 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 is loved by a lot. Motherfucker could have went to the DMV and damn near ran his name and got his address. You get what I'm saying? Like, they would have gave it to you. Just being, you know what I mean? Like, man, this Nipsey, that's a killer. Can we get an address? They damn near would have did it without even having an inside, bro. So it's just like, like certain motherfuckers got to miss me with all that morning shit. Like, I, I, don't, I don't be with all that because you wasn't trying to, y'all gangbangers. Everybody is sitting back like they not gang members at this point. You get what I'm saying? Like, even P&B rock dudes, they was trying to come down here and get their man. They trying to come pull up to the parking lot. Like, it's not smart, but it's like, they ain't going for that. The Philly niggas is really going crazy right now. They not going for the, my man's got killed out there and it's just cool, that's alert. Even though he got caught by the police, it wasn't because of them niggas told. You get what I'm saying? That's my whole shit. Like, uh, Pop Smoke, that's another example. Nigga, the woo is beefing with Hoovers in nigga way in fucking Timbuktu. Way in, in New York, they tripping. Niggas can't even Basically, let me just ask this, uh, Big Homie. So, after after what you heard, if you want to kind of like elaborate on it, what is your response to Brick Baby and the new club basically saying the reason why your relationship is what it is is because you're trying to put the guilt off on everyone. You heard that, everyone else, when you didn't even do anything to Eric when you were there. What is your response to what Brick Baby just said and everything you just heard? Okay, well, like I said, they just want to mention my name to get a click, okay? Number one. Okay, Brick Baby's a nobody. Okay, everybody done pulled up. Nigga, you ain't pulled up. Nigga, tourists done pulled up. Blood, Crips, Hoovers, nigga done pulled up on Slauson and Crenshaw. Nigga, you ain't pulled up. Nigga on Crip, nigga, you ain't pulled up. You want to play? Why you ain't pulled up? Even when I ain't there, nigga, you ain't pulled up. 6 9 pulled up, nigga. Nigga, you, you, I, I'm your big homie. You from 6 0, ain't you? Nigga, pull up and see if the homies embrace you, nigga. I ain't even gotta be there. Go pull up and take a picture where your homeboy did his shit. Nigga, and I never hid behind nothing. You feel me? I was the first nigga to nip. And I came from three stores away. Feel me? So fuck what you talking about. Weirdo, you ain't never even been down there, nigga. On some bullshit, nigga. Knock it off. Quit playing. Quit playing. You just looking for clickbait. That's all. Little cam nigga, all that. Whatever they doing, they just looking for a clip. It ain't no substance to that. Number one, your little homie can't call collect and say cowboy got him locked up. Number two, this bitch ass nigga gunned him down for no reason. Then this bitch ass nigga turned himself in, didn't get nobody no action at him. Cowboy didn't talk to nobody. And he was already in jail, got indicted. You find out who, uh, told who cuz name was. You feel me? Who told cuz statement name? They, I know I was on the news that day. Yeah. And they, everybody knew who cuz did whatever. I'm behind the crime scene. I'm behind the crime scene for hours. By the time I leave the crime scene, I'm behind the crime scene, stuck behind hours. I ain't talking to no Johnnies about nothing. You feel me? Even if you look, they don't even look after the park while I'm looking around like this dumb nigga gonna roll. I'm looking for cars. That nigga living in fantasy. Cuz ain't, ain't lived in the hood. He don't know how this shit go down, nigga. He ain't never been over there, nigga. He don't know how a nigga get killed, nigga. He ain't seen, okay, a loony. He ain't seen a uh, uh, Fats get killed, nigga. He ain't seen a uh, Dominique get killed. He ain't seen Tape Off. He mayhem, nigga. He ain't seen no homies that died, nigga. And he always, all my dead homies, I'm the dead homie. You ain't got no dead homies, nigga. Them was my dead friends, nigga. Please, quit playing with me. Them is my friends, nigga. Now, I'll, I'll tell the homies to bring you to the hood, nigga. You want to come to the hood, nigga, I'll make it mandatory that your bitch ass pull up, nigga. That's what I'll be on, nigga. Nigga, we'll bring you to the hood, nigga. Or ban you from the hood, nigga. If you don't pull up, nigga, you can't get, don't come over no more, nigga. Don't do nothing no more, nigga. Don't have me put my foot on your neck, nigga. 
Nigga, I'm the wrong monkey to fuck with, nigga. Nigga, quit playing with me, nigga. That nigga stupid. That nigga got to be on some hallucinogenic, some drugs. That's what cuz on, nigga, for even fathom some dumb shit out of his mouth, nigga. At this bitch ass homie turned himself in. You the one trying to divert some shit. Why your bitch ass homie turned himself in? So if a nigga did tell on your homie, why you ain't pull up to defend your homie, nigga? I'ma defend mine. Pull up and defend your homie, nigga. I'm talking about fighting, nigga. Nigga, now what? You over there talking about all type of shit, nigga. You telling right everything you said in that interview was telling, nigga. Shut the fuck up. The Philly niggas rolled. How they know the Philly niggas rolled out here, nigga? Mm. What the fuck, nigga? You an entertainer. Let street business be street business, nigga, before you get choked the fuck out, nigga. That will have a trouble beat the brakes off of you, nigga. On my kids, on my mama, nigga. Don't play with me, nigga. Mm. Nigga, that's how I feel about that interview, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, we'll shut that motherfucker down, nigga. Shut your whole program down, nigga. Quit playing. Mm. Bitch ass nigga. And I stand on that nigga and I'll meet you anywhere, nigga. Pull up in Atlanta, nigga. Cause I ain't scared. You gonna hide behind a gun, nigga. Mm. Ain't nobody hiding behind no guns, nigga. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You are nobody. Nobody. Nigga, get a click, nigga. Nobody knew who none of these niggas was till so they start talking about them. The world didn't know who Cowboy was till they started talking about Nip. Mm. Keep it 100. So fuck all that bullshit you want to get clicks. I told you quit getting clicks off of me and my dead homie. Do that internet shit. Quit talking about my dead homie, nigga. I been. I don't give a fuck how much time your little homie got, nigga. Fuck your little homie, nigga. Take it how you want to take it. If I'm telling, roll up and beat my ass, nigga. Because if you telling, I bet y'all roll and beat your ass, nigga. Drop me a location. You sliding through the city doing Adam 22, nigga. You ain't slid through Chris Lawson and Chris y'all, nigga. Wow. Unless you had a face mask on, nigga, in, in the back seat of some car, nigga. You ain't pulled up and jumped out of the donut shop, nigga, early in the morning, nigga. You ain't went and took a selfie in front of her. You ain't even pulled a 6'9", you bitch. Uh. That part. The more you try to expose me, you exposing yourself. I'm down there the other day. You ain't coming down there. Go down there and sneak a selfie, nigga. Go do that. And I wish you would hang out. Let me catch you down there with anybody. I'ma slap every nigga that's with you, nigga. Mark my words, pull up. Pull up with 15 niggas, gonna be 15 niggas slapped. Nigga, pull up. If you think I'm playing, pull up on Sloss and the Crenshaw with 15 niggas. It's gonna be 15 niggas slapped. Cause if you pull up with 15 niggas, I know they gonna choke you out before I get there, nigga. I'm a factor, you are nothing. You don't stand for nothing, you're nothing. You're nobody, who are you? Where are you from? That's the question. Who are you? High speed chase down sloths, and nigga, you did a high speed chase and jumped out, nigga, okay, that's your claim to fame. Little high speed chase you did, and your mama came and talked for you, nigga. Your mama was on the scene talking for you, nigga. Now I did my homework on your bitch ass. Ran your monkey ass to Atlanta, nigga. You ain't been to the hood doing nothing. I've been down there 10 toes. Been to every prison. Yeah. Ain't there a nigga in jail calling collect behind cowboy. Nair nigga. Not a one. And if you got a problem with Cowboy, I ain't hard to find. So quit making up stuff on Cowboy and my dead homeboy. Quit saying what the fuck I was doing or what I wasn't doing. You feel me? God took me away from them for that split second. Feel me? Every day I gotta live with that. Quit bringing that shit up, nigga. I wish I would have seen something, nigga. Nigga, I wish I'd have seen your man doing his shit, nigga. I'd have ran that nigga down, choked that nigga to death, nigga. I wish I would have seen it, nigga. The fuck is you talking about, nigga? Like I'm ducking and hiding, nigga. Fuck wrong with you? Mm. Nigga. Yeah. And, and, and you know, big homie, like, I... I man, that I, nigga should have yeah. left my name out of his mouth. Yeah, yeah. Because I, cause I, left, I left stupid cuz alone. I left dumb cuz alone. Leave my name out your mouth, you know? I only got one request. 
Quit talking about my dead homie. Leave my name out your mouth. You can continue to be all you can be on the internet. Only time you gonna have a problem is when you mention my name and you're talking about my dead homie just to get some motherfucking clicks, nigga. And I feel some type of way. You feel me? And if you're a real 60 and you around that nigga, nigga, let me know, nigga. When cuz is in the city, yeah, call me, cuz. That's how I feel. When y'all when cuz pull up in the LA again, nigga, let me know. Let me know. That's what I want to know. When you pull up back down here to do a podcast, nigga, let me know. Let me know. I want to talk to you face to face. Yeah, talk or take a fade, nigga. Mm. Wow. You know, and um, being only just to let you know, coming from my end, like I even talked to the robot when Good I chance, got that nigga. when I got that clip sent. I was like, you know, we 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 been, you know, we, we keep addressing these dudes out here that got this and that to say and i was like you know what man you know uh, cowboy on a, on a positivity and, and we motivated and things like that so i, I didn't i even talk you can even ask the bro i was like man I, you know i really don't even want to bring that clip up and everything like that but i was like you know what this clip got over fifty thousand views you know and everything like that there's no way that i can't you know um it's um and i was like there's no way with over fifty thousand views i can't show it because i know you're not on the internet like that so nah. it's like, there's no way that I can't show you what's being said. I got to nah. show you. Uh. So me and the bros like, nah, we got to show them. We got to let them know what's going on. Uh. So you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I, you know, I did, you know, want you to go to that place, but I understand. You know what I'm Man. saying? You had to see that and you got to address it the way you got to address it. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's going to take me there. You know, when it comes to my dad, homie, I got feelings about that. You know what I mean? You know, uh, we didn't talk about my whole life. My whole life been splashed through social media, you know, and I stood strong through it. I got all my paperwork. I got everything I've been arrested for in my life. I stand strong, you feel me? Even the bad shit I did with the good. You feel me? All the bad I did, I'm doing good now. Yeah. You feel me? So they trying to tear down. You trying to tear down something that's good. You trying to tear down. Cowboy not talking about the bullshit you niggas is doing. The gay shit that you niggas do. I can't even say it's gay, cause they, they, yeah, that's gayer than gay. It's some, it's, it, it, even the gays just don't want you. <laughs> like, nah, don't even put them in with us. Nah, them, them they, the gays is like them niggas is bitches. Man. You feel me? They tell them niggas, is, you know. I just seen the same niggas send me a clip with Cuz. It was a transvestite. And it went straight to Cuz. You seen that clip? Oh, you seen that one? Uh -huh. Man. Yeah, somebody sent me that one. You know, but I ain't into that. You feel me? He was at a transvestite party or whatever. But whatever floats your boat, that's not my business. Yeah. Somebody just sent his rap sheet. I'm saying. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Something like that, I would never say. It's if your name is being said. Yeah. If I hear cowboy name being said, that's when I'm like, hey, off, I got to uh, show the bro. I got to. Well, yeah. Like, you know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm not on the social media. Yeah. I'm not sitting there looking exactly. and clicking on yeah, this yeah. dumb shit. I don't listen to the cam guy or whatever. When yeah. I see the funny style faces pop up, it's nothing. To, it, now, if it's somebody respectable, yeah, I will tap in. But other than that, I'm not tapping in, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I'm just not tapping in. When you, when you, you know, looking for clicks. For anybody that's picking that nigga up is just looking for a click because he's a nobody. So, I mean, nobody. The little, his little uh, uh, rap career, nobody. And you ain't did nothing. The song with YG, you feel me? You, you super crip, he put you on the, the B-Dog album, whatever it may be, but whatever it may be, you, you with the extras, but you not pulling up. You in it for the clicks. But quit getting your clicks off of me and bro. Uh. I'm not getting clicks talking about stupid cuz that turned yourself in. Nah. No. I ain't getting no, I ain't getting no, I ain't getting nothing out of him getting 60 years. I didn't give a fuck what they gave him. Feel me? I know I was gonna look that buster in his eye. I know I didn't get him niggas no information that the video camera and everything that the world didn't see didn't 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 give him. Yeah. Nigga, your little homie did the dumb shit in, in broad daylight and killed the homie for no reason, nigga and turned himself in. And turned himself in. He didn't stay in the hood. And, uh, well, what about that, nigga? Your homie killed another nigga in cold blood on videotape in broad daylight and turned himself in. And then the opening statement of the case, the, the, the motherfucker, his lawyer came out and said, my client killed Nipsey Hussle. The opening words. From that point on, all because it's fried, it don't matter. Like he said, 60 years, 40 years, 10 years, it didn't matter. That don't matter the time. But you did a foul crime. And you defending it. Because you a foul nigga, you foul. Look at you. 
You ain't got that light. Your light, you know, you you ain't got that light. You feel me? Hopefully your soul can be saved. You feel me? You trying to get some shine off of my light, nigga. You know, nigga, you nigga off my little light, nigga. You getting you getting some shine off my shadow, nigga. You feel me? Nip was so big that the world know who Cowboy is now. That's how big his light was, nigga. You trying to get a little shine off Cowboy light. But you in it for the wrong reason. You feel me? Big bro, I want to ask you a legitimate question. You know, this was this was um kind of on my mind this week, and I was thinking about it, and I just want to know your thoughts on it. Um, do you think that Adam probably brought on uh Brick Baby because you over here with us on the Nothing to Some podcast now? Nah, Brick Baby okay. called that probably called the nigga all oh, cuz this and that, this and my weirdo shit. It's like they probably thought it was a good move or whatever, but obviously it wasn't. You know what I mean? So, like I said, they, they fishing for whatever, you know. Like I said, I, I don't got no ill will toward Adam, you know what I mean? Uh, I use these platforms for what they is. If they had a if they had a, a certain degree or whatever, I knew I had a message to tell. Yeah. You feel me? So that's what I use their platforms for, not to discuss the bullshit, you know what I mean? So, yeah. it, uh, personally, I don't know the guys. I don't know them clowns. I don't know everybody, you know what I mean? Adam seemed like a cool dude to me, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Uh, no ill will terms. Did he exploit blacks or whatever? I think they hand in hand. They volunteered the information they gave up. Cuz asked the questions. You know, he could have did. He could have went either way. You have to tell. You have to say none of that. Motherfucker asked you a question. Nah, I don't, don't want to hear that. You feel me? Yeah. Motherfucker asked Bootsy a question. Bootsy say, "Shut it down. Oh, fuck, get the fuck out of here." You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? So you had the choice to answer the questions or not. You know what I mean? So yeah. the same token, they they used each other. Yeah, yeah. They worked with, they did each other. You know what I mean? Then they made some moves. All it takes is one heated argument to break some shit up. Yeah, yeah. We don't know what went down. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga, fuck you, nigga. Da, da, da. That's all it takes. Yeah. Now pride is involved now. Yeah. Oh, I ain't going back, I ain't going back now, but now it's pride involved, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Or the numbers ain't right. You got enough heads, you know, internet, you know, is making money, but you know. Yeah. And as people can see it, and I'm, I'm glad you address it the way you address it, big homie. People could see at the end of the day, we keep it real here. You know, like, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, uh, uh, the big homie got his, you know, own personal relationship with Adam. When it come down to me for my own reasons, I have issues with Adam until one day we either sit down and talk or he address it. But my reasons was, and I would say it one more time, just really quick. It was for shot, talking about the Bosco and Cowboy interview and not shouting out the podcast. You shout out Cam Capone. You didn't, in the same sentence, you did not shout out the Nothing to Some podcast. I, I, I'm i definitely going to always have a reason with that. You know, I work too hard when it comes down to this for somebody to shout out an interview and not shout out the podcast. The second thing was him talking about sitting down with Cowboy and Brick Baby when I said this on multiple interviews. Man. And, and, and him saying he saw the interview, I know for a fact he saw me say that. So that's why I have a problem with Adam. Have nothing to do with, you know, me and Cowboy and Cowboy and Adam. Nothing to do with that. That's Paul P. Personal issue with Adam 22. You get what I'm saying? Or Adam 20 Ho, because I saw y'all been saying that in the comments. Whatever. I'm just saying at the end of the day, that's my personal issue with him until we address it. But I'm glad you said that so people can know. We yeah. keep it real here. Yeah. You know, we're not yeah. here just like, all right, let's plan to do this and say, we don't do that shit here. Yeah. We keep it real. You know what right. I'm saying? So, uh, so yeah, right. but any anything else you want to address along the lines of, of Brick Baby or anything well, with that? The, well, they, they mentioned a, a possible sit down. Where y'all want to sit down at? Man. Yeah, that's the question. Where you want to sit down? Yeah, we can sit down Brinehurst. You feel me? Yeah, in the hood. Or we can sit down uh, at the MGM Grand. Where you want to sit down at? Ooh. We can sit down at a boxing rink. Where you want to sit down at? Yeah, yeah. Where you yeah. want to sit down and talk about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel me if you feel a certain way, you know, you feel you feel some type of way. I feel I feel your little homie did something foul to mine. You feel I did something foul to yours. So how are we gonna resolve it? Nigga, you gonna pull up to the rink where you wanna pull up at? Yeah, yeah. And this talk will take a fade so you can catch your fade with Brick Baby. I catch my fade with Adam 22. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, hey, what's up, Adam? We can uh, have our fade, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, you be like, you know what? Hey. My bad, you know, I, I should have shot y'all. I, I I did get that from you. I, I was trying to take the swag a little bit. You know, I was trying to take the swag. I uh, admit it. Uh, hey, be real. Then I uh, can say, you know what? Hey, we, we 
fade, and then we good. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that well, yeah, <laughs> that might be a good one. Adam looked like he pretty in shape. You know so I, I see, I see, I see, I got, with it. I seen him down at the beach chilling. So yeah, yeah so we see we can line that up. I mean, <laughs> line know? it up, get a bag behind it. You know what I mean? Sure. I'm, I'm gonna pull up and stand on what I stand on. That's for sure. You know, what I mean? I was for sure I'm gonna pull up and stand what I stand on. Yeah. You know, and I'm gonna squabble up. You know, win, lose, or draw. That's yeah. the generation I come from. I'm gonna stand up. So if we, if we want to uh, get some issues off the chest, because the way I feel about Nymph, and I can't get to your man's, but now if you want to take your man's place, Ooh. you feel me? Don't let this air stop you. Don't let the air stop you. And you can pull up in that motherfucking MGM Grand or whatever with your entourage and come on down like you want and, and meet up like a man. <clears throat> Simple as that. Like I said, I'm the old big homie. I'm an old nigga. I, 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 yeah, I wish an old nigga would call me out, nigga. We's going, it's going down, nigga. You got, to, you got to show me. You feel me? And that's how I feel about a youngster. You got to show me, bro. You got to respect me. If you don't respect me, you got to show me. You got to put hands on me. I, I, I'm not too old to get my ass whooped. Yeah. You feel me? I'm really step. If, if you feel I'm in violation, pull up. Let's take the fade. Yeah. Let's do that. I'm from that generation. I'm one of them old niggas that's still ready to get cracking, nigga. Yeah. You feel me? I'm gonna teach you a few things about 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 fighting, some shit that you never. I was raised in the Thunderdome. Mm. You never Thunderdome, so I did the math. It was cuz born in ninety something, whatever. The math, I know. I was on my way to juvenile hall mm. when Cuz was born. You feel me? Come the cases that he talking about with me, he might have been three. Wow. You feel me? By the time he was six, I was in a rag Chevy. You feel me? Feel me? Blue rags, gang banging. Mm. Feel me in the heat of shit before the three strikes law, before the peace treaty. You understand? When it was active activities. You feel me? Been here a long time. Make it this long. That's an accomplishment. Yeah. Feel me? I could sit there and be the big homie telling the little homies do this and do that and put y'all on some faulty shit. I'm not. These niggas are still pushing the faulty shit. The faulty line. So what you doing? You pushing the wrong line. You pushing the bullshit. We pushing the bullshit out the way. And then we willing to stand up on it though. We willing to pull up. Nigga, pull up and shut up. Mm. You talking, take a fade, nigga. Facts, facts, you know what I'm I saying? I mean, what's so, yeah. what's so hard about that? Yeah, yeah. I don't like you, man. Let's pull up over at this boxing ring. Shit, Go charge some tickets, you know what I mean? Mm. I know for sure they'll pay to come see me beat your ass, that's for sure. <laughs> you feel me? You know, now we gotta pay to get you a bus ticket. You brick baby. You feel me? You should be able to do your stuff. You brick baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. You feel me? AKA dick baby. <laughs> baby dick. Whatever. It's all good. Whatever. You feel me? See if them, see if them dreadlocks is real. Or is them extensions. What is that? What's that all about? Entertainment. You know what I mean? So don't, don't, don't. Don't talk about cowboy, cause when you point your finger at cowboy, you got you got a whole lot more fingers pointed back at you. Yeah, and you know how and you know how real two real ones is. You know what I'm saying like you big homie and me sitting right here. I got I just got to call it out, man. No. We was able to sit whenever the big homie talking about big baby. I say nothing. I let the big homie say what he got to say how he need to say it. Yeah. Big homie said what he said about Adam. No issue. I got my issue with him. Right. Uh, this is why I said Sharp had no reason to say nothing when Brick Baby was addressing Cowboy. Yeah, that but, is not but, Sharp. Oh, no, thing I, is, I, I hold on, 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 hold on. One more okay, thing. Okay. Brick Baby ain't got no uh, addressing Cowboy. Yeah, yeah. He ain't the same as Sharp. I, you right. You know what I'm saying? Because he ain't official. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to get that straight. Because it's not official, not from the 60s, not where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. Maybe in Atlanta. We got a hood out there, lovely hood, love them. Did hood day out there, great time. Oh, love it. Atlanta 60s, pff, neighborhood. That nigga, not from where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the same numbers. You feel me? But you're not where I'm from. Feel me? And I don't think you from where them real Atlanta niggas was from either. Cause they showed me love when I got out there. We had a ball. Yeah. Feel me? We had fun. That was one of my best hood days in Atlanta. You know what I mean? So for me to be around here 30 something years and not have crossed your path, not know nothing about you, nothing, there's nothing, you got no history, you got nothing, you got no roots. So you're, you speaking on me just like Sharp and just like these white podcasters and just like these other motherfuckers that got no business speaking on me. Yeah. 
And that, and that yeah, right there, uh, big homie, is for you to address, though. Well, I'm when let, it come down to I'm letting, I'm letting, I'm letting it be clear. I, yeah, I'm letting yeah. it be clear. He is not my homie. And that's anyway. what I'm saying. He, I, yeah. we, 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 nothing. We, yeah. He might represent some of them numbers. I don't know if he got the tats. He got shit all on his face or weird shit. I don't know. Yeah. I do not know this weirdo from nothing. Yeah. You feel me? His little homie, the homie that did the dumb shit. Yeah. I seen him in the hood, watched him come up. You feel me? Seen him. Act like he was all that, nigga. Even he wasn't all that, nigga. Knock it off. Yeah. He wasn't just that nigga. Like, he's the ultimate gunner and the ultimate killer and all that shit. Knock it off. Yeah. He's always a 5150 boy. He was always a boy. Yeah. And when it come, when it come to stuff like that, you know, Cowboy, that's for you, y'all, you know, for the streets to address. Yeah. Oh, he not no real reputable. That's for the streets to address. Yeah. But when you not from that and you trying to say something about for someone, yeah. you are totally out of line. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Sure. That's when then I'm going to jump in, especially if I'm sitting with a big homie and I'm like, hey, we sit at the same table. We eat at the same table. You jumping in and we know you ain't from that. And we know you shouldn't be speaking on street politics. That's when I'm going to say something. Yeah. So I feel like Sharp involved me to say something along yeah. the lines of that. Yeah. That's just me being well, real well, when just, it come down to you. Yeah, you, you keep it in one and just stay in your lane. Yeah, yeah. Just stay in your lane. Like, like I said, these podcasters, they fishing. They know what questions to ask these dudes. So it's on he the didn't podcast. ask a question. Yeah, yeah. He vouched for Brick Bank. <laughs> he didn't ask a question. Yeah. He said, you trying to bring transparency yeah, yeah, to basically telling and taking a stand. Yeah. Bro, nah, right. that wasn't his place to yeah, say that. Yeah. I ain't well, never you know jumped what? in the middle I got of it you. like that. That, that, you that know? wasn't his place to say. And, That's and, all but I'm the saying. thing is, I guess he entitled to his opinion. That that that's his opinion. So yeah. I, I I I don't want to fight Sharp behind his opinion yeah, on that one. Yeah. But you know what I mean? But and I'm not fighting. No, Sharp. I'm, just, I'm, I'm just, just saying, saying. <laughs> I didn't get that. I, I, that wasn't real. I that was you. weak. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And yeah. so I'm not trying to. Well, you know, hey, if Sharp wanted to shoot the fake, we got to shoot fake with that nigga too. It is what it is. I like your You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm with it. Exactly. I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Niggas have to nigga, I, niggas have to stab me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I, I can shoot them. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, right, it was yeah. about six of them. I'm getting all, all right, them niggas. Yeah. They have to stab me in to get me down. Yeah, so right, I mean, right. I'm with it. I don't yeah. care. All right. Sharp at them, same time, one at a time. I don't give a shit. <laughs> niggas you know what like I'm saying? Me. I don't yeah. give a shit. Right, that's what I'm so I'm about. saying, hey, he had no reason to get in the middle of that. That's street business. That's street uh, politics. Uh, Rather, Brick Baby is this or that or not. That's street politics. Uh, but you know you ain't from that. Uh, 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 leave it alone. Period. Yeah. You know so. Then, but then when you siding with this clown right here and you in the circle with this clown, you don't know you're going to bring some unwanted attention. So I know, I know when they brought Stupid Cuz over there, when they brought Stupid Cuz over there, I know they got a lot of feedback like, that, that ain't cool. That ain't a good look. You know what I mean? So I'd imagine, you know what I mean? Uh... That wasn't a good look, you know what I mean, regardless. But uh Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh it's just business. They entertainers. Let them entertain. I, but I don't want you entertaining off 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 of people that I love, you know. I still I still cry when I, I think about Nep. I you know, I still yeah. I still I'm still going through it. You know what I mean? I'm still going through it. So I would love to uh get in the gym and box one of these dudes just to uh, get some frustration out, you know what I mean, if nothing else, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's not, you know, I don't personally hate these niggas. I don't personally uh, wish no harm on them or nothing like that, but leave my name out your mouth or pull up and let's take these fades and, and then leave my name out your mouth and let's go, you know what yeah. I mean? I think you get more of a stripe if you pull up and say, you know what, I stand on that, I'm gonna take this fade and we gonna leave it alone, Man. you know what I mean? Man, real talk, big <clears throat> homie, real talk. Hey, hey, so uh, we we go we gonna jump off all of that right because at the end of the day we want to talk about things that we could flip into a inspiration, motivational, you know, direction and everything like that. So um, I know you brought it up earlier to me when we was chopping it up, but um, there's a picture out right now where uh, uh, Ti and Boosie is basically you know uh, kind of like mending, I guess, the fence. I don't I don't I don't know what's yeah. going on, but it seemed like um, you know they kind of like uh, uh, ended their issues, you know, um, and everything like that. What are your thoughts on it? Did you do you feel like that's the right direction to go in, or do you feel like they just doing that for the for the for the pictures and and for people to believe that everything is cool? Um, um, and you know, earlier Ti also did a, 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 this a this song. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You know, but like I say, on the picture show, they was cool. So, what are your thoughts from that situation? You know, uh, uh, after they went through this long 
you know, you know, things in, in situation yeah. where Boosie called him out on Vlad for talking about telling on his cousin and all that. And then T.I. setting up that thing in Atlanta where they came together. Well, T.I. was trying to bring them together to see his paperwork. Boosie didn't show up to now this picture that we all see where they shaking hands and they cool. What are your thoughts from it all? Oh, uh, well, I think it just in the, the situation in general, I think both of them may have spoke a little too soon. I think they both smoke, spoke a little premature. When a little information came out, they could just left that alone. They should have just called each other. You feel me? I think I think we should stop voicing everything on social media, just on the lives and stuff like that. Even if you felt like uh, Ti was foul, you should have just kept it. You should just told the interview. Now, nah, you know, I'm good on that. Or what, you know what I mean? So they could have, you know, took care of it differently. Then I, I seen the footage when Bootsy Chains got taken or whatever, and he was saying, "Yeah, we're gonna uh, got investigators," and, and it, was, it came right back. You know what I mean? So it's like. Where you know where where is when you need law enforcement to help you and when it's not a snitching and when is it where you telling so you know what I mean so that's that gray area so you know he he was hot change got taken you know what I mean he said, oh man maybe thought one of his homies licked him or whatever I'm gonna get the investigators we got everybody looking for my shit or whatever but as a shit you work with the law enforcement telling so then when you look at the other clips you know I would never blah, 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 and I was like well hold up would make this situation different than this. Like like I say, even, even how I felt with T.I.'s situation when it came down to it, his lawyers came up with a brilliant idea to get him out and he got out, but I wouldn't consider him a snitch, you know what I mean? Okay. So, you know, that's that area. So you point the finger, but hold up. Was T.I.'s worse than what you did for your chains? Mm. You know what I mean? It, you know, it's cool. By no means, we mess with law enforcement. By no means, you seen that kid got kidnapped. You better not call the police. You a snitch. I'm just saying. By no means, help law enforcement. By no means, if you see a criminal doing something, I think you know. <laughs> when you doing a whole lot of criminal activity, yeah, you really feel that way. But you know, uh, we're not into that criminal activity like that, bro. You know. It's time to change. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah. know, uh, it's time to change. Right is right, wrong is wrong. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, I think we're in a place, uh, uh, Cowboy, where we really got to talk to the youth, man, because they getting so much information. This is snitching. Don't do this. You ain't a real one if you don't do this. Uh, yeah. Oh, people going to shun you if you're over there doing this. Oh, this is a civilian. This is a street nigga. This is a gangster. This is a G. It's so much that's confusing yeah. the youth that they like, well, how can I go out there and make something happen and not look like a square? And how can I go out there and be a G and, 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 and move the way, you know, I want to move and, and I look like, you know, I'm a snitch. Like, how do I got to move out here? A lot of young cats are confused. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, I, mean, I, I feel what you're saying. It's just we got to start figuring this out and have one message to put out there you know what I'm saying when it comes yeah. down to our community because yeah. you could just tell we are all on different pages Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah. when yeah. it comes yeah. down to the messaging right now exactly you know yeah. but back in the days probably even more when, when, when you was younger but back in the days I remember hey this is what it is this is how you move out here yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. This is that's how it was you know yeah. Now, of course, growing up, you know, hey, you, you, you be over here snitching on your cousin or your brother, but, we're gonna whoop your ass. You know what uh, I'm saying? Yeah. So, okay, we knew what it was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but now it's going in a lot of different ways. So what are your just thoughts on the messaging out here and the, and, and the message to the youth? Because they're, they're probably confused. Yeah. They don't know which way to move. Yeah, well, the way we grew up in the hood is different now than it is now. So the way we grew up, we was accustomed to a certain thing. You know, uh, like at that time, Bloods and Crips didn't get along. Now we see each other in traffic every day, and it's a, and it's a, it's a, it's a lot of grace. It's a lot of grace in the city, you know, uh, 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 moving. So now this, so now that that element, the color line has kind of been broken. You know, blue wear red, red wear blue. So the other color line has been broken. In my day, you weren't wearing a stitch of red, or they weren't wearing no blue. You know what I mean? So, so the color line has been broken, and now the pieces are there. So now they need they need a, 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 a answer this phone. They need a real structure. Mm. They need a uh, they need a a, a a new positive structure because now they structure me coming up as a gangbanger. This is the hood don't like them, don't do this. That was the structure, that was what I had to fall suit. Yeah. So now me as a G, 
I don't want to tell them, no, nah, be a soldier and fall suit like that. So now I got to tell them, this is what we trying to do. Yeah. Bloods over there, they cool over there. Crips over there, cool over there. Some Hoovers over there, they cool over there. We black men. You feel me? So let's get oh, even away from the sets. Let's get the color out the way. Get the sets out the way. We neighbors. Yeah. We friends. You feel me? We all family. You know what I mean? We L.A. Okay, start there. We just all rep L.A. right now. Yeah. But we got to come to something mutual that we just on L.A. Just on this vibe. I went. I went up. Uh, I went up north to uh, uh, Oakland. Okay. Man, loved it. Oh. I've never seen so many. We was at the festival. I think it was the High Road, the High Road uh, Festival, whatever. Uh, man, I never seen so many black folks come together. Oh. And I didn't see no frowns on no faces. Wow. I seen this vibe. I, I looked around. I said, this shit won't last five minutes in L.A. Man, you know what I mean. Facts. When I seen it, and it, 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 it was it was a uh, it was a good feeling to just see all the whole city come out and just see a lot of smiles and everybody have fun. So, yeah. you know, we gotta uh, do some events where we can start mingling peacefully. You know, a lot of these venues we've been meeting up and we've been losing. We're like, you know, we've been losing uh, artists and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, these venues been turning out bad. Where we gotta have peaceful environments for uh for our youth to come to where they can enjoy themselves. Like I said, we had skate rinks and stuff like that. And at those times it wasn't the safest places. Yeah, so yeah. we gotta have safe environments so they can still skate. I went skating in Vegas last week to my uh, uh taught my son and, and my daughter how to skate, you know, so first they didn't want to be with dad. They were like, ah dad got on the skates. They're like, hold up, dad got it, dad I'm about to get it, you know what I mean? So uh, by, the, by the end of the night they was both skating uh and we had a good time but Wow. Kids miss that, you know. We had the outdoors. We had to. We on the concrete. We gotta bust our ass, but we gonna learn how to skate today. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. So these kids are stuck on those tablets, and uh, you know that's bad for your eyes. You know, since I've been on these iPhones, my eyes been going bad. So you know, stay off of these tablets. Get these kids in the more outdoors, more healthy, more health conscious, uh, more exercise. You know, get them off of these tablets. You know, limit them to like a couple hours a day, educational stuff, and, and you know, that's that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Don't just give them the phone to occupy them. Yeah, you know what I mean? you're right, you're right. And that's that's what one of the problems is too nowadays. You know, um, it's too much information out there on the internet. Yeah. You know, no uh, filter. Uh, you know, like back in the days you had big homies and OGs and people around you, you know, within your community, that'll kind of give you the direction on how to move, yeah. you know, and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. Nowadays, these kids getting on the internet, you know, they don't got nobody who they looking up to around them. So they looking up to a lot of different people on the internet who they yeah. think is, who they who they think they want to be one day. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Oh, he got the car, he got the money, he got the no. jewelry, he got this. No. Oh, I want to rap like him. And they taking all the information from that person yeah. instead of having an OG that's like, hey, close that come up in here let me give you some game yeah you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. they're not going in that direction right now yeah. so you know it, it, it's good if you if you're gonna put out the information and taking the information like what's going in going on here yeah li listen to someone who is giving the right information and that's going to motivate you to make something better of yourself yeah you know what i'm saying so yeah. you know that's why i love what we're doing here you know this is motivational this is gonna make you want to after you listen to this you're gonna want to Leave your house and go out there and make something happen to yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, you don't want to figure it out for real, for real. Yeah, we want to motivate, though. You yeah. know what I mean? It's basically about, you know, motivate people to do the right thing. When, yeah. when you look at interviews and they just talking about nothing but negativity, there's no motivation in that. So at the end of the interview, what did you gain out of? You had a negative You had a negative outlook, so your day went bad because you're listening yeah. to all this bullshit all day. You know, you're looking at turned up stuff. You're kind of feeling good. You know, you play that Tupac or you you dipping and you put that nip victory lap and you're on the highway. You're like, like shit, you know what I mean? Take you there, so you know these dudes. You know, make some music. You know, uh, it's a hard lineup. You got Pac in. You know, all eyes on me. Then you put yeah. in Victory Life right yeah. after. Man, yeah. that'll take me all the way to Vegas. All the way. You know all what the, I'm all saying? The way, all the way. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. For real. Yeah. For real. Yes, yeah, man. You know, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, I just, I just love the um, information that you know you put in our cowboy and that we got going on here on this podcast. You know, so you know, it's all about motivating the youth. That's what it's all about. At the end of the day, you know, so. Yes, but um, uh, jumping into this other, uh, you know, uh, uh, topic really quick. Uh, so uh, I, I just heard something the other day where Blueface, I guess, got his chain taken by the Serenos. Oh you know yeah, what I'm well, uh, it was a while back or whatever. Man. Okay, so this was a while back. It's just coming out. Well, it's just coming out. Well, so now everybody on this paperwork shit. So, uh, you know, I got, uh, you know, shit. I'm plugged with everybody. Everybody, let me know what's going on. So, apparently, uh, 
I think he was from San Fernando Valley, or whatever, San Fernando Thursday or whatever. They went to school. He went to school with Blueface, or whatever. So uh, I guess Blueface blew up, or whatever. Had a little altercation, or whatever. He he get Blueface chained, or whatever. But they called the police. Uh, apparently, you know, WAC 100 and Blueface uh, did go to court, and uh, you know, but that, but WAC 100 excuse was oh he was young at the time, so you know WAC 100 got a million excuses, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, six nine was a civilian, oh, Blueface oh yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? He was young, you know what I mean? So yeah yeah. But like at the time when you get booked and you mad, like I said, you know hey, you know like I said I, my car got stolen and I, I'm walking into the police station. The homie called me from prison, <laughs> my car got stolen, so I'm in the police station. He's like where you at? I said man my car got stolen. I'm in the police station. He said man. Don't tell nobody that. <laughs> you know, he got a phone in prison, so he 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 watching the social media. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, like you know, but that you know, when can you when can you uh, need the police help? You know, I was supposed to go look. I got one car I never reported, and I still ain't found that motherfucker. So. Man, <laughs> man, uh, that's crazy. Uh, so did they end up resolving that whole situation? The blue face and the, they resolve it. Everything cool. Now? Well. Well, I mean, I can get the paperwork on that for sure. Oh, okay. Uh, that, that, paperwork on. Yeah, that was already presented with that. Uh, they, got, they, they got paperwork on that uh, for sure, you know. That, okay. Uh, uh, Oh yeah, cause they got gaffled up. The niggas went to court. Yeah, cause they, yeah, they got, yeah, the police did their job. They, yeah, they booked them niggas and whatever. But I, I guess them dummies went to court. But uh, yeah, yeah, from from my uh, official uh, uh, sources for sure. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, cuz was probably young at that time. You know, sometimes you're young, you do make mistakes like that. So what is people trying to say? Okay, so I, and I'm I'm looking deeper into this story now and everything like that. So it's people saying that basically Blueface or whoever snitch to kind of like you know. Well, yeah, well, they, well no, they oh. called they called the police and the police retrieved everything. Niggas went to jail, caught a case, and the whack one hundred and and cuz went to court. Wow, the whole Shabamski. Okay. According to sources, you know what I mean. But like I said, I ain't here to put their business out the out there. Like I, I, you know, I particularly like Blueface. I like his style. But uh, uh, by him calling the police when he was young, getting his chain taken or whatever. I mean, according to the rules, you know, that's it is what it is. Uh, yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, man, uh, here, we're going to move on from that one, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. that, was, hey, that just came to yeah, me. Like yeah, I said, yeah. I ain't been, you know, I've been just networking. You know, yeah. now I'm in the social media, so I've been networking. So uh, I've been networking with the, the red, the blue, and the brown. So, yeah. you know, and that information just that came. I just seen a couple little clips about it. It was just yeah. uh, so happened that information come up, even with, you know, a lot a lot of information come across my plate. But, yeah. you know, I choose not to even, you know, speak on it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, because it sounds like that story is... It gets real deep. It sounds like it's deeper than even what oh, we talk about. Oh man, but right I now, mean, it, it, like me on on on, <laughs> on these next episodes or whatever, I won't leak too much of it on the next episodes. But I'm I'm getting paperwork and a lot of stuff mm -hmm. on. Uh, so we can discuss because apparently the, these uh these guys ain't gonna pull up to talk or take a phase. So uh, I could uh, go ahead and get their rap sheets and see what they're really talking about. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So you know if you really that I mean if you really was out there in the streets, you really was you know really you know hood like that or whatever uh your rap sheet's gonna tell it though you know uh yeah. you know i was just in trouble i stayed in trouble stayed in trouble you know and the rap sheet to prove it you know yeah. what i mean so um you know it'll tell it you can say oh yeah you got away with all your crimes okay you know you won in a million you did that you know what i mean yeah, but yeah. uh if you grew up in that certain even now it's really hard to get away with anything if you're even thinking about doing crime so yeah. uh my suge suggestion for everybody just quit doing crimes period there's so many ways to make money and other Man. opportunities so you know what i mean if you worried the things that they worried about niggas telling and niggas doing this and niggas doing that it don't bother me because i ain't doing nothing wrong yeah. So, yeah, yeah, real talk, real talk. You know, uh, one thing I wanted to bring up and kind of get your thoughts on this situation too. We actually talked about it the other day on uh, just kicking it and everything. But um, I don't know if you saw it, but it's a it's a documentary out about King Von um, that Trap Lord Ross, you know, put out. Um, and uh, the title on the thumbnail basically say "Hip Hop's First Serial Killer." You know, uh, for uh, people don't know, King Von was a really, really, you know, big rapper um, before, you know, he was gunned down in Atlanta and everything like that. And um, Trapler Ross, uh, who is a, a white guy from London, basically put out this three-hour documentary. And it's like one of them, 
you know, R. Kelly, Russell Simmons, Michael Jackson type documentaries. You know what they do, and I guess they trying to, you know, get somebody caught up. I don't know. But he put out one of these uh, documentaries, and I saw the whole thing, man. It was it was deep, you know. Um, but he never been convicted for none of those things, you know. And I'm like, man, we always having these videos, documentaries and stuff put out from people from our culture. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. What are your thoughts? You know, on Trapler Ross, a dude from London who, you know, probably ain't going to get touched. Nobody could go down there and see him or anything like that. You know, and like, and also I want to put out there, King Von family actually fought against this documentary getting put out there. Yeah. It came down off of YouTube for like a couple of weeks. Then YouTube, I guess, approved it and it, he put it right back up. Yeah. And it been up now for about eight days. Over four million people have watched it so far in just eight days. So yeah. what are your thoughts on this whole situation with this documentary about King Von? Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's real sticky for for somebody that's doing an outsider, you know, doing that. You know, that was a sticky situation out there. So uh, the world is, is a small place. So, you know, uh, he had a lot of fans or whatever, you know. Uh, yeah, that's you treading on thin, thin water doing that type of stuff uh, unless you're going to uh, bless the family or, or whatever it may be or or, or use the money to, uh, to to benefit, you know, uh, the wars and the stuff that's going on down there. You know what I mean? So it all depends what, what you're in it for. You just in it to make a buck. Like I seen somebody did a Nipsey book and they had nothing, know nothing about Nip, did a whole whatever. You know what I mean? A so, book? Yeah, a whole book, some the wow. marathon, something. So, you know, uh, everybody's in, in, in it for the money, whatever. So, uh, yeah, if, uh, on his end, that, that's, you know, you're dealing with politics, dealing with hood stuff, you know, you're dealing, uh, nobody's bigger than the program. You know what I mean? So uh, hopefully uh, the guy do the right thing with uh, with the funds or whatever, and uh, and it get resolved the uh, the appropriate way. Yeah, yeah. And you know one thing I always like to put out there when it comes to situations like this, it ain't when it come down to our culture, it ain't like we not smart enough to put together things like this. It ain't like we don't know how to edit. We don't know how to put a whole bunch of clips together and make a documentary and stuff like that out of it. It ain't like we don't know how to do that, right? It's just that we not that dumb to put enough to put something like this out when it come down to these type of documentaries because of where we come from. Yeah. We smarter than that. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't play with stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's always somebody outside of our culture yeah, yeah. who is doing these documentaries, yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking about this type of stuff on yeah. those type of levels, you yeah, know, and yeah. doing things like that. Yeah. It's never us. It's always other cultures, you yeah. know? And I want people to know it ain't that we can't do these things as well. Yeah. We could do it too. Yeah. In fact, we could do it even better. But, but we just not going to do that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. yeah, you leave that type of shit alone. Yeah, you yeah. You know what I mean? You leave it alone and let the ones that was involved in that type of stuff put out at their, at their leisure. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. People always ask me, how's the family? When is the family going to do this? It's at their leisure whenever they want to do it. When they're going to open the store, when they're going to do that, it's at their leisure. You know what I mean? There's no time on the healing process. So, you know, uh, mm. Yeah, you know, you know, we miss these people. You know, uh, a lot of people are fans and they en enthused with the story, but those are our actual loved ones, our friends, and we really got actual feelings for these people. Yeah, yeah. You know? Man, real talk, real talk. And that was just crazy. He said, because that's what he said, you know, Trap Lord Ross. I was a fan of King Von, but on the title it says, Hip Hop's First Serial Killer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Like, yeah, yeah, you idiot. Yeah, yeah. What type of fan is that? Which <laughs> hip hop's first serial killer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't convicted of none of that shit. But hip hop's first serial yeah, killer, and yeah. I, and you're a fan. It's yeah. just crazy, man. How they be flipping stuff yeah. upside down. Okay? Yeah, well, it's all about the clicks for them. So yeah, he got yeah. four. He got four million clicks. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know. So whatever he did, he did what he was supposed to do. Real uh, talk. Now, real talk. Is he gonna do the right thing? That's the question. Yeah, man. That's facts. That's yeah, facts. Sir. Man, uh, uh, if we got anything in the chat, you know, we'll uh, read off a couple of chats, you know, as we go into uh, last little bit of the conversation and everything like that. So uh, we got anything in the chat. Let's go down and put it up so we can read and see what the people is saying and what the people is talking about. But um, you said um, in the next couple of weeks, you know, coming up, let's read the Jesse Shelley Cowboy is such a well-laced, authentic and extremely wise man with a heart of gold, man. You want to say to Jesse, big on? Much love, Jesse Shelley, for sure. I appreciate it. Uh, hey, it come from the heart, you know what I mean? You can't make this shit up, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, when it, it, we don't script this shit, you know what I mean? We really just, it's, it's really it's from the heart, so appreciate you. Real talk, real talk. Uh, you know, you mentioned 
that in the next couple of weeks is going to be, you know, some some things that, you know, you 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 come in out, you know, with on, uh, you know, talk or take a fade, you know, rather that's rap sheets, rather that's uh, uh, how to get your credit up, you know, business up and everything like that. Let me read this real quick. Helen Roy, I absolutely love Cowboy's energy. I respect how he has stood 10 toes down, no matter what the critics have to say on the Internet. Woo. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You know, when you stand on something, you're going to stand down for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, that you know, I'm staying down for what I stand for. You yeah. know, uh, a nip ain't here to ride it. I'm going to ride it till the wheels fall off to the yeah. end. You yeah. know, the, like I said, it's a marathon. It's a, it's a long race. Yeah, real talk, yeah, real sir. talk. But um, just uh, going back to what he's talking about, so just to give the people out there a little bit of insight on certain things that you're going to be, um, you know, uh, uh, putting out there and discussing and bringing up on the next, you know, uh, a couple of, uh, you know, shows that we got, you know, got coming up and everything like that. You know, anything you want to elaborate on to let the people know, like, this is what you could be expected, expecting, you know what I'm saying, going into the future, you know, of the show. Yeah, well, there's a lot of various topics that we're going through. Like I said, I want to do uh, definitely a couple episodes on this domestic violence. Uh, uh, do a couple of episodes on some uh, relationships, you know what I mean? What we go through, you know, uh, women, and, you know, uh, uh, women have changed over the years, you know what I mean? Uh, not like our grandmas, how they were raised, and they, you know, going to church every Sunday. So now we broke up, you know, you can be ready to get girls that's going to church. You get something that's still going on the phone and stuff like that. So now our routine, so now when you're out here looking for a wife, you know, then you're dealing with a lot of women that may be angry or been going through it, or now it's so much uh, social distance, you know, everybody's aggravated, everybody's so angry, everybody's so, you know, so uh, topics like that, you know, I always, uh, I know I've been an advocate for the gang culture because that's, that's, that's my main concern is trying to pull them together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just showing them that this code is some bullshit. You know what I mean? The code is some bullshit. We all come together to do the right thing. We ain't got to stick to this because ain't nobody doing nothing that a code don't apply to. That, that a code apply to criminals that are doing criminal activities and let them run with that code as much as they want. Yeah. You feel me? The ones that ain't doing criminal activities, you ain't. You shouldn't be telling on nobody. There ain't nothing to tell. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing to tell. We over trying to start a business. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do that? You know, uh, like I said, I just want solutions to what we going through instead of just dwelling on. I'm just tired of looking at podcasts and niggas dwelling on the smut. You know, the, the, the right. hot topics, Wendy Williams type stuff. You know yeah, what I mean? Which that was cool for her to do her thing, but. You know, every podcast is just looking for information. Like I said, they wake up, they're looking for something to talk about. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Instead of making changes, I'm into making some changes. I mean, uh, I hate going through my community and seeing it looking run down the way it is because it has so much life and it has yeah. so much future. Yeah. You know, and for it to be just run down and just, you know, look like tumbleweed, old Western movie and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, we got all this love, but, you know, Where's the love? Everybody tell you what they gonna do for you when you gone, but what you gonna do for me right now? Man, that's a fact, that's a fact. Uh, uh, Daniel uh, Ve Vexler, I might not understand everything about the gang street code, but what Cowboy done in standing up for his friend Nipsey is admirable. I hope more men will hold each other in this regard. Man, that's a that's a powerful, you know, uh, post, you know? Yeah, well, that, uh, that was my friend. You know, you're going to ride for your friend, you're going to ride for your brother, you're going to ride for your family, you're going to ride for your mama, you know, so I'm going to ride. I'm gonna, if, if I got love for you, if, if I roll up and I'm cracking jokes and I talk shit to you, then I got love for you, you know what I mean? So if I love you, I'm going to ride with you till the wheels fall off. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Real talk, real talk. Cayman, um, are you going to do a documentary of your life, cowboy? <laughs> well, really, I wrote the book. I wrote the book and... Uh, the book is my life, you know what I mean? So yeah. a Nip Nipsey was a few chapters of my life, you know what I mean? So yeah. if you hear my story, you know, my upbringing, all the prisons I went through, drugs, uh, just everything I went through, relationships, domestic violence, everything that I went through. So my book would be first, you know what I mean? I would imagine some white boy from Amsterdam would do a doc on me. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, I would imagine one day, but I do have some documentary stuff that I, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a documentary I want per se say it was me. I really want to give the true side of what, what me, Nymph, Fats, Gerard, you know, uh, 
I heard I heard of Fast Brother Rocco uh, passed away, and his funeral was Monday. So, mm -hmm. man, I send my love to uh, Rocco family. That was my uh, people. Yeah, that, that that was that was my guy. So just uh, to hear that 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 hurt me. That was Fats' uh, older brother, but uh, Gerard died. I'm mean, no Fats, then Gerard, then Rocco. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, the dad had passed. It was just Fats and them. So mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, love to the family though. Uh, yeah, uh, I miss my nigga Rocco. Man, man uh, sorry, sorry about that yeah, loss. Yeah, that was my, that was my underdog. That was my, I was there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rocco, I was like, nigga, I'm your biggest fan, boy. You know what I mean? He's like, man, he always give me a little mixtape. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. man. So, Pretty Brown Eyes 81. Can you ask Cowboy what did he have to say about tourists visiting the mural? I've seen it uh, on someone YouTube. Uh. I mean, it's cool to go down there, you know, check out the one in Five Burgers, the uh, the one in the alley. Uh, I kind of keep that one closed down, uh, but the one at Five Burgers is pretty cool. It's still intact, you know. The one in the alley is intact too, uh, it, you know. Uh, I let people back there when I'm down there. I let them go to the back, so I've basically been preserving that. That's kind of uh, that's like my piece. I go back there and smoke a blunt and get get some peace back there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, I. I I don't mind it. I don't mind the tourists coming by as long as they're respectful. Like I seen some just try to step right past me and hop a gate or something. Like that's out. Wow. You know what I mean? That's out. You know what I mean? We don't even get down like that. You know, pick your trash up, all that. That's out. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, yeah, we respect. I, I still respect uh, what, we, what we built over there. So yeah, yeah. I jump out, clean up. If I see some graffiti, I look at it for a day or two, and I jump out, paint it, and keep on going. Man, you know, it's just sad though. It's sad to look at it. You know, it, it, it's sad to look at it. Cause I, I remember, I remember being cleaning out that parking lot. The oldies is playing. Nimple pull up. You know what I mean? Pops at the store, you know what I mean? We, man, we cooking in the fish house, the barber shop cracking, you know what I mean? It, it, it was so much life in that parking lot, you man. know what I mean? Now it's just, for these four years, it's just been nothing, just like, I mean, yeah. you know, it's been a lot going on, but yeah, yeah. That, yeah. I miss that. Man, I'm yeah. talk. Um, ING on uh, on NA uh, my, uh, I, I know I probably said that wrong my bad you know <laughs> uh, Cowboy you studied George Jackson and seen his book Blood in My Eye I think you gotta read that and link up with APs TC in Oakland too they on your time alright right to check into that hey. That'll work. You sound like Nip. Nip always in the book. Like they read this book. You know what I mean? Try this tea. He always he always has something good to, to say. I'm like, you you act like I'm supposed to be telling you this shit, you know what I mean? He's acting like the dad, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, no matter what, any type of game you get, young, old game yeah, is game, yeah, right? Yeah, you know? Yeah, so that's for sure. Uh Juliet uh Bailey, um, I don't know how people can hear this dude speak and say he's fraud. Nip trusted him for a reason. One honey, man. Let me go and give you a, this record. I mean, it's good. When, when people recognize what's real, man, that's what really matters, man. Not not the what people just saying and the smoke and screen and mirrors and all that. People, When people really recognize real, that's what's up. Anything to say to that? Yeah, that's you know? real. Uh, like I say, yeah, Nymph, Nymph for sure trusted me. You know, he called me two in the morning, like pull up. I'm like, man, I'm asleep. Got my daughter on my chest. Like, man, pull up. We we turned up right now, man. They they asking for you. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm here with the family, man. You know, I bet, man, I appreciate the invite. You know what I mean? Yeah, Shit like yeah. that. So I know he trusted me. You know, uh, you know, just yeah. I I don't never had to announce my my oh, I'm on my way or my I pull up and there's always a smile I never I never felt out of place around Nip no matter who he was with I mean he there and Jay-Z pull up you know I'm what you need bro you know uh uh I I I was never too big to be the gopher like you know uh they did the GQ magazine uh shoot it was uh Nip and Lauren London out there G Bob the whole crew out there and uh it started raining you know so they like uh, we need the beanie, we need the umbrella. So I run down the block, I'll get the umbrella, come give him the umbrella. Oh yeah, G Bob I need a beanie, go get the beanie, come back. So I'm the gopher, I'm running back and forth, running back and forth. Mm -hmm. Uh the cameraman at GQ said, Hey man, is it cool for you to go sit down over there by Nip? I say, Nip, the director told me to go sit down right here by you. 
he said, go sit down. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's so, how I sat down. So if you look in the GQ magazine, you see Nip looking at the camera. You see me looking up and Nip like that. You wow. know what I mean? So just helping out, you know, yeah. got me a shot in the picture of GQ. So that's I can say, dope. I'm in GQ magazine with Nip. You know wow. what I mean? Yeah, that's dope, I man. wasn't too big to be the gopher and run and help and, yeah, you yeah. know, do yeah. what needed to be done. So. Man, that's dope. That's dope. Um, after this one, we'll read one, uh, one more. Uh, Jesse Shelley. It's refreshing to hear a cowboy tell his side of the story. It was so many negative ones out there before he even had a chance to get his side out. Glad I tuned in. This interview was laced with wisdom. Man, shout out to Jesse again for a good uh, post. Anything to say? Yeah, I, you know, for three years, I saw a number of negative interviews about me. People just making up stuff. Like I said, making up documentaries, making up stuff. You know, then I started getting to, I said, I was going to double up. As much as they did negative, I'm going to triple that in interviews. I'm going to double it up. I'm going to keep going, keep going with positive, positive. So now when you look up me, you're going to see more positive. You ain't going to see oh, me yeah. out there cussing, talking about take a fade, let's get down. And, you know, I'm talking about some positive stuff. So he, so when people see my face and they want to click on there, they know they're going to get something. That's my whole thing. You got, you know you're going to gain something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you're going to gain something. Uh, God gave me gifts to do, and it's going to be speaking. It wasn't to be a rapper or whatever. It's going to be talking. It's going to be... Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if I had to live my life over, you know, it's certain things I wish I could have did differently. But I say I have to do everything I went through, go to prison, get on drugs, all those things that I conquered yeah, to yeah. be the person that I am. So now if you're on drugs, you come talk to Cowboy, I'm sure you get off of that. If you're on Crystal, whatever, crack, whatever you're on, I get you off of that shit. I'll show you what it takes for me. Yeah, Homegirl yeah. pulled up on me fresh out of jail yesterday. Had a little pookie on a, a couple conversation with me. We taking that motherfucker, throwing it down the street. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Feel me? I like this next couple hours is gonna be crucial for you. So yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? You know. So I, I wish you the best. You had to go see her PO. Like here, take this, do your stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is, is it so? You doing drugs? Either you gonna do this? That's your fun. Mm -hmm. Or you could be shopping at the mall with the kids, and that's your fun. Mm. Feel me? You can sit over here and just be getting high, and that's cool. That's your fun. If you content, locked in the car somewhere, getting high, peeking and spook, and that's fun for you. Yeah. More power to you. Uh. But it's more funner over here. Yeah. With yeah. the kids going shopping, going skating, go to sleep in the morning, wake up, go to work. It's more funner over here handling your business. Yeah. Feel me? Because that over there just gonna stagnate you. But if that's your fun, do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, talk to me about you know life. You know, I I, I went through uh, a lot of life, a lot of ups and downs. So uh, if you're going through something in life, learn something from these. Oh, I talk to my grandma every day because I'm still learning. Yeah. You know what I mean? So continue to learn. Like if you listen now, like we going down. I don't went down a gang of roads. Yeah. So now I can see, nigga, that's the wrong road for you, nigga. You better turn left. Yeah. Cause I've been down that road. Tell you, oh, hold up, you on the right path, but you got to swerve. But look, when you get down there, it's gonna be a little, like I told Nip, like look, this gonna happen, that gonna happen, then you gonna have to do this. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? I can kind of map your life out, like hold up, okay, this is where you at. You, you're pretty tight as a rapper, but you got to go a little tighter. Or hold up, you might want to stick to nine to five. You might want to, you, you might want to go to school. You know what I mean? I can kind of tell you where you need to be man that's real talk that's real talk yeah. all right last one of the day uh pretty brown eyes 81 thank you uh host new subscriber i oh, appreciate the subscriber this subscription shout out to pretty brown eyes for subscribing to the channel we always appreciate everybody who subscribed to the channel no every every single person from one to it don't matter everyone we appreciate all of you you know definitely 100 percent uh it, it, man, make homie uh, take us up out here, man. Last words for the people, man. You know, man, y'all have a fabulous Friday, man. It's been another talk or take a fade. No negativity, man. Keep God first, man. Anything that you want to do, just believe in it. Have faith and put it in God's hands and you'll get it. Not on your time, but in his time. But uh, uh, life is a marathon. Run a lap. Let's get it. Talk or take a fade. Started crashing, I didn't see